Hello, hello, Ivan. I see you have connected. All right. So um, I'm going to open your audio and video settings. And uh, your system is going to ask you for permission to connect. You just have to say yes, allow audio and allow video. And that's it. We're going to make this. Perfect. So, um, okay. Uh, video and audio are going to be on. Hey, how are you? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Good, good, you? Good, pretty good. How was the connection? Good, good. It was, was easy or it was hard? No, it was easy. Pretty easy to connect. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, well, thank you for making it. Today, I'm just going to go over this and um, show you how the platform works. And then we're going to do like a small demo lecture. It's going to be less than 30 minutes. This is pretty straightforward. So every time we connect, it's going to be the same thing. I will send you one link to your email. You just have to click over. It's going to ask you to enroll. And then after that, you're going to join the lecture uh, at the time uh, it's going to start. So um, let's start with showing you the platform. Uh, so you can see it, there is a chat session here in case you want to send me a message. Like I type in here, it says hi, boom. So you can replay. And uh, also, if you want to send me a private message, you can do that one too. Like I, I'm going to create a private room in here and say, hi, Vine. Um, uh, here and then uh, we can uh, have our private conversation just in case you know we we'll have a, a question for yourself only. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So um, also we have here a whiteboard, okay, where we can um, you know I don't know we can say anything. We can say well the Rotator cuff muscles are the supra spinatus, all right? Supra spinatus. Uh, we have the infra spinatus. We have the thirties minor. All right, we have the thirties minor, and we have the subscapularis. All right, so we're going to use this whiteboard for, you know, any, any annotation that we need to take care about it. So we're going to use it. Also, let me show you this here. We can upload YouTube links in case that we want to we want to see something. I'm going to show you this here. I'm going to go to YouTube. It's going to take me maybe a couple of seconds to do it. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for one video to upload. All right, so let me uh, get one uh, video and upload it to the platform using the YouTube application. All right. All right, and let me know if you can see it. Yeah. Right, pretty cool. So we have that. Now we have that. We want to take a look at any video. All right. All right. Okay, so here we go. Perfect. So any questions, Onzo, now? Hello, and welcome to. No, everything's good. Everything is going cool. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. So also, we can do a screen share. Let me show you this here. So just in case um, we want to go to Google and find any picture that we need. Can you see my Google screen? Yeah. That's awesome. 
yeah, we can see everything here. And let's say supraspinatus there, ultrasound. Okay, here I can show you pictures and everything so we can see that they are in here. So that's another capability of the system. So we can screen share everything, okay? All right, so any questions on Zona? Everything going good? Yeah, everything going good. There's something pretty awesome about the platform is that your lectures are gonna remain in your account. So in case you wanna review those, you have access. You have access to watch the lecture over and over as many times as you want, all right? Well, so now we're gonna jump into the demo lecture. And today I'm gonna talk a little bit about the anatomy of the shoulder. And uh, let's do it. Let's do it in here. So the shoulder joint. Um, the shoulder joint is formed by the, um, the humerus and the glenoid cavity, right? It's a joint that has a large range of motion you can do so many things like abduction and adduction. You can do external rotation. You can do internal rotation, all right? You can do flexion and extension. So that's something pretty good to remember. It has a large range of motion. So the humerus is gonna have the humeral head, which is gonna basically uh, stick into the glenoid cavity that belongs to the scapula. So this is a ball and socket type of joint. As a, that's why I have a large range of motion. And there are so many muscles around that are gonna help with this motions, plus some muscles that are going to reinforce the joint. And we're gonna talk about those now. Okay, so this is the humerus in here. Okay, this is a humeral head. This is the glenoid cavity here. So we have the rotator cuff, which is gonna have four muscles in total. And uh, let's go over this, okay? So let's start talking about some anatomic details. So one more time, this is the humerus here. The humerus is gonna have a greater tuberosity, which is this one here, a lesser tuberosity, which is this one here. And those are places for insertion of some of the muscles coming in here. Look at the acromion. It's good to know about the acromion because we have the uh, chromiohumeral space, and uh, for the study of impingement, it's pretty interesting to know the dimensions of this space in here. Look at the clavicle. One of the things that we check in ultrasound is the chromioclavicular junction, all right? And uh, it's good to know as well. This is the scapula, so this is the front. When you go to the back, you have, one more time, your humeral head in here, and this is, this here is the spine. Can you see my point there? You can see yeah. it. Yeah. Well, this is the spine. And the spine is a really nice landmark to talk about the, um, you know, the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus muscles, all right? Yeah. So, like, remember, I have on my list the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, the teres minor, and the subscapularis, all right? Above the spine, we're going to have the supraspinatus, and below the spine, we're going to have the infraspinatus, all right? So, any questions until now? Going good? Yeah, everything going good. All right, pretty cool. Now we jump into the next slide. Look at this, beautiful muscles. So as I said before, um, this is the front view here, okay? This is the acromion, the clavicle. There is another process that we call the coracoid one, this one here. And look at the muscles that, can, that we are able to see in the front. We've got access to the subscapularis. You know, subscapularis is gonna help you with the um, abduction, all right, of the joint, all right, and in the back we have the infraspinatus, all right, infraspinatus is going to help you with the external rotation, the supraspinatus is going to help you with the abduction, all right, awesome. so all of those are going to have different actions, that's what we call it, so we're going to call those actions. Uh, look at this back view in here one more time. This is the spine. This is the supraspinatus muscle. This is the infraspinatus muscle. And then we have the tertis minor, which is this one here. Now look at the insertion, right? Now talking about the origin and insertion, let's take a look to this table. That's real good to know. The supraspinatus, the origin is going to be in the supraspinatus fossa. Now both the 
spine, as you saw it before. The insertion is going to be at the greater tuberosity of the humerus. And the, to be more specific, at the superior and middle facets. And the action, as I said before, is going to be abduction of the shoulder. Okay, don't get confused with abduction with B and adduction with D. All right. Infraspinatus, in the infraspinatus fossa, it's just below the spine. The insertion at the greater tuberosity as well, but it's going to be at the middle facet, and it's going to overlap the supraspinatus. The function, as I said before, is external rotation in this way. In the teres minor, the, it's going to be, the origin is going to be at the axillary border of the scapula, and it's going, to, it's going to insert at the greater tuberosity, but this time as the posterior facet. So you can see it, this three first, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres minor, they go to the greater tuberosity, but to different facets. And the subscapular artist is the only one that is going to go to the lesser tuberosity. All right, it's going to insert in the lesser tuberosity, and the origin is in the subscapular fossa. And that's the one that is going to have uh, the function, the internal rotation of the shoulder. All right, internal rotation of the shoulder. All right. So we keep coming this way. Look at the uh, rotator cuff in here, the humerus. This is the infras, infraspinatus, the supraspinatus, the teres minor in here, right? And then we have something that we call the inner valve. We'll talk about that one in our lectures in more details, okay? Uh, this is just a demo for today, just to have an idea of the anatomy. Let's take a look at this. That's a nice picture of there's a lone axis of the subscapularis in here. Remember, the subscapularis is the one that is going to insert the word, the lesser tuberosity, right? Yeah. And you can see it in the front. So this is the way it looks like. Look, this is muscle up here. So in the lectures, we're going to learn which muscle is this one here. So this is the tendon. And, you know, these are the fibers. If you have a hybrid solution system, you're going to be able to see the fibers. And we check this tendons, right? We check these tendons in long and short axis all the time. Sometimes you see tears in short axis that you don't see it in long, or sometimes you see it in long and you don't see it in short, and sometimes you see it in both. So oh. that's why it's so important. You know, recent studies says that ultrasound of the rotator cuff is as effective as the MRI and sometimes more. Wow. Because you can evaluate this, uh, it is quick, it is easy, and you can compare side to side, right on the spot, and you can tell to the patient to do different motions that are gonna help you to find the problem here. So we have many pathologies to go over, and it's pretty interesting, you're gonna like this. So this is a supraspinatus, and of course, if this is a greater tuberosity, that's where the supraspinatus is going to insert. And this uh, small, pretty thin, hypochoic structure on top, that will be the subdeltoid uh, bursa, right? Subdeltoid, subacromial bursa. It's, you know, that's a um, pretty common place for injection uh, for pain, all right, uh, bursa in here. And that's the posterior view, right? Because remember the supraspinatus, you can see it in the posterior view. Right. There, are different, there are different positions that you use for the patient in order to get these pictures. Uh, but that's something that we're gonna study uh, later when, uh, you know, we talk about the ultrasound techniques. Plus if you decide to take the uh, practice part, you know, going to the work, scanning workshop, you're going to learn all of this. Okay, so this one is the infraspinatus. Remember, it's in the, also in the posterior approach, all right? And this is the way it looks like. It's the infraspinatus. Remember, the function is going to be external rotation, as I said before. This is the ultrasound appearance of the tendon, all right? And then we go this way. This is the teres minor. Look at in here. And this is a humidal head, right? And this is the posterior inferior glenoid. That's a nice picture as well. So any questions on all, you're understanding this? 
Yeah. This is a quick lecture. Uh, it's just a demo one. But in, uh, once you get into the course, we're going to go over more details, we'll explain it more anatomy. Um, it's it's going to be pretty fun. So, um, well, any questions about this, about the demo and everything? No, everything's going great. Everything is pretty cool. So, yeah. awesome. So, um, as I said before, the MSK uh, course is approximately 30 hours. If we need to add more time, we can do it, all right? Of it's pretty extensive. It has a lot of information on it. And, of course, we always can combine. We're able to combine this um, live lectures with some scanning workshops that you can go to the clinic, and then we have real patients in there. We start with modules first, and then we start doing real cases. All right, all right Ivan, thank you for making it, man, and let's keep in touch. All right. All right. Thank all right, you can text, text or send me one email if you need any help, and then we will connect. Thank you. All right, for sure. Take care. Bye. Thanks. Bye.